I want to comment briefly on the Cybersecurity Information Sharing Act the Senator is considering. And let me first commend uh, the sponsor, Senator Burr and Senator Feinstein, for their extraordinary work. This bill will help ensure greater sharing of cyber threat information more rapidly and broadly across industry and government. And as we have seen with large-scale attacks against the federal government and companies like Sony, there is an urgent need to start addressing these breaches. While such legislation is not going to eliminate our cybersecurity challenges, it should materially help to defeat and deter cyber attacks and assist law enforcement in tracking down and prosecuting cyber criminals. Information sharing will also assist the intelligence agencies and law enforcement to detect and trace attacks originating from foreign actors, which is a cru crucial step in holding other countries accountable. Many of our citizens and corporations are understandably concerned about the impact of information sharing on privacy, but we also must recognize that rampant cybercrime is a monumental threat to the privacy of the American people, and that sharing information about these criminal acts can not only protect privacy, but also protect our public safety and national security. With respect to the specific privacy protections and legislation before us, the managers of this bill have come a long way towards improving the balance between security and privacy protection, especially the changes made to the base bill by the manager's substitute. A major area of concern was whether the government should be authorized to use information shared under this bill to investigate or prosecute a host of crimes unrelated to cybersecurity. Now the bill is more narrowly tailored and focused on using information gathered under this bill to go after crimes that are specifically related to cybersecurity. The manager's substitute also adds a requirement that the information sharing procedures required to be issued under this bill include a duty to notify individuals when the federal government shares their personally identifiable information, PII, erroneously. The manager's substitute also includes an improved reporting requirement that will show the number of notices sent because the government improperly shared an individual's PII and the number of cyber threat indicators shared automatically and in addition, the number of times these indicators were used to prosecute crimes. So the manager's substitute has come a long way towards being more protective of individual privacy and I'd like once again to recognize Senators Feinstein and Burr's hard work here and their willingness to listen to their colleague. And while I might personally have set the balance slightly different in some places, which is why I've supported some of the amendments before us, uh, I think they have done a significant job in improving this bill and providing privacy protections. I do want to draw my colleague's attention to one important additional fact, which has in some cases been overlooked. The cyber information sharing system established by this bill will require federal dollars to implement and many of the agencies involved, the Department of Homeland Security being the primary portal for shared threat indicators, are funded on the non-defense discretionary side of the ledger. And this is an example of why I and many of my colleagues have been urging for sequester relief for both defense and non-defense spending, because we cannot defend our homeland without funding non-defense agencies like the Department of Homeland Security and a host of other key federal agencies. Indeed, I am encouraged that we are close to voting on a budget solution that will provide two years of sequester relief on a proportionally equal basis of the defense and non-defense spending. And that protects the full faith and credit of the United States by taking the threat of default off the table until March of 2017. And for this reason, uh, Mr. President, I am looking forward to final passage of this legislation and once again commend the principal authors, Senator Burr and Senator Feinstein, for their extraordinary effort. And with that, Mr. President, I would yield the floor.